Sleep apnea is uh, uh, basically cessation of uh, breathing or followed by decrease in oxygen level in the body. And when this happens, and when this happens, there will be uh, increase in sympathetic activity which causes heart rate and BP to fluctuate. And variability will be there and this leads to uh, patients developing blood pressure and cardiac problems. Patients who are having uh, multiple uh, problems like diabetes, uh, uncontrolled blood pressures or cardiac problems, they are prone to have obstructive sleep apnea. And uh, these people, if they have this uh, obstructive sleep apnea problem, they require a lot of medications for these problems to get in control. They require multiple medications, more than three medicines for controlling their blood pressure. Their insulin requirement might go up. Uh, followed by a lot of complications of diabetes related complications may develop because uh, the diabetes might not be controlled because the underlying uh, OSA is a problem. Obstructive sleep apnea, apart from uh, medical uh, uh, line, medical treatments and a lot of comorbid conditions, it definitely has an effect uh, on your day-to-day -day activities. Especially because you are not able to work properly, not able to concentrate. You don't have to. You can't put more effort into whatever uh, work you are on, profession you are on. That obviously has an impact on your workload. Apart from that, once you come back, you you that that thing carries on to the home and you tend to have this depression episode, sometimes anxiety and you're not able to uh, and apart from that if you have this snoring and uh, repeated awakening uh, frequently going to the bathroom this also leads to importance uh, and that uh, takes a, a toll in the uh, family life apart from that when you're depressed obviously you're, that uh, it has an impact on the family uh, and the kids too And I think uh, any medical treatment for that matter has to be through a physician rather than self-medication. A lot of people ask whether I, if I reduce my weight, uh, whether I'll be cured. Then we, uh, that's very a wrong notion because once uh, any patient definitely if it reduces a weight that's our first line of treatment but uh, the, the sleep apnea might not go, pressures might come down a little bit but uh, sleep apnea will remain. And uh, he has to be on the CPAP uh, uh, if he suggested CPAP, BiPAP, auto, auto uh, uh, APAP, uh, with suggestion by a physician. So once they use it for three to six months, all the parameters starts to getting better. How we have seen in studies like HbA1c, your blood pressure gets in control. The, then probably they feel slightly better and then so you know once you start feeling better probably this compliance things comes in not only in CPAP but for that matter in all the things all the medications when you're feeling better why do you have to take this medication innovation and you Philips.